Welcome everyone to 2015. This is actually going to be my first video in 2015. And what we actually have here is I'm going to do a quick overview and unboxing of the Intel 730 series SSD, specifically the 480 gigabyte version. Now, I recently did a video before this where I go through some SSD, kind of a buyer's guide. I wanted to do this mainly because I was shopping around for myself. I had an old Intel 510 series SSD that finally is starting to uh, show its age. I've had it for, I think, three or four years now. I bought it originally when it first came out about four years ago, so it's an extremely old SSD and the capacity is already maxed out. So I needed something a little better, so we got this. So that put me on a guide basically a shopping guide for myself on shopping for SSDs. There's so many options out there right now and the price have dropped so much that I did a quick guide. Check that out. I'll put a link somewhere to it up here. But this is going to be all about the Intel 730 series. And this is interesting in that this is only the second time Intel has actually basically done everything in this drive as Intel's. Uh, originally what they actually did is uh, Intel's known for their solid firmware and their reliability. Their firmware is probably one of the best out there. Samsung may be second, maybe SanDisk, maybe in that in that mix too. But Intel is known for their reliability and their stability and their longevity. Most of their read and write speeds don't decrease over time. They actually stay pretty level. So that's why I was interested in this. Yes, this is a higher end SSD, but the price point, uh, you can get it on sale pretty... You can get under $250 for the 4 and 8 gigabyte pretty easily. It's based off the Intel 7 or S3500 series and 3700 series, which is more of their, their uh, enterprise drives. Their SSDs are not really for a consumer, but it's based off that. It's kind of a smaller down version of that. Um, either the read and write speeds are a little different, uh, but generally it's about the same. So it's got the Intel firmware. It's got the Intel controller, which is the big thing there. So this is a big deal for a lot of reasons. It has a five-year warranty. And the main reason for that is, is that they think it's going to last that long. These drives will last much longer. I have an Intel 510 series, which I bought, I believe, four years ago. It has started to show its age and slow down a little bit, which is the reason why I went with this. I had some Christmas money, so this is what we actually went to. Another interesting thing about the Intel 730 series SSD is it's not the fastest out there actually for the price point. You can get uh, the 480 gigabyte version for under 250 pretty easily, which I still think is a steal. Uh, but you can get much uh, cheaper drives out there than that. But the thing is, is that this is uh, marketed towards being up there with the Samsung 850 Pro, uh, the SanDisk. I believe it's Extreme Pro or Ultra Pro, one of those, they're high-end drive. These are some of the fastest drives out there. Intel's actually not the fastest, even compared to the Samsung 850 Evo. Uh, it's, it, I mean, it, it, it's in the same price category as that. And this thing's a little bit overclocked, so it is does draw a little bit more wattage. Uh, it draws 5 watts, which is a lot, which is why I would not recommend this for any type of notebook. For one, it, drives, it draws 5 watts of power. I mean, most SSDs out there are like, 0.1 or 0.3 or extremely low numbers. So five watts is a lot when you when you think about it in terms of a laptop. And it also gets very warm. Uh, if you check out uh, PC Per's uh, SSD overview on this drive, you, they actually go into detail about how warm this thing gets. So it's not really suited for a laptop. This is made for an open design case desktop where it can get a little bit breathing room uh, so it doesn't get hot and draw so much wattage. That being said, that's about it. Again, Intel, I still think this is one of the best drives out there, mainly because its read and write speeds are going to last a long longevity. You're not going to see dips um, in performance over time, let's say two years down the road. Uh, Intel is known for keeping their read and write speeds up pretty high on the scale over the two, three, four, five year period. That being said, let's actually jump in and see what's in the box and we'll go from there. All right, quick unboxing. We're gonna see how fast we can get this. Uh, there's the outside of the box. Not a whole lot there. You can see the cool little skull there on the front. That actually goes back to an old CPU that used to have a skull trail, is what it was. Not a whole lot there. Not a whole lot on the back. Doesn't have read and write speeds. Uh, seven millimeters in height. All right, finally got everything on the box. And let's get it open. This is the retail package one, so what you actually get here is a SATA cable. Nothing too spectacular there. 
Get a speed demon. And looks like you get a little Intel. This is your insulation guide. Probably has the Intel data migration software on it. Get some screws. And then we got the SSD right here. Not a whole lot of packaged in these, but it is a very cool looking drive. Very cool looking drive. Uh, I may say so. Has a skull on it. You might be able to see, this might be an actual drive that you might want to actually showcase in your case. Let people take a look at it. It's a cool design. Feels nice. Feels kind of heavy. That's one thing I won't mention. It feels a little bit heavy. That's it guys. Thanks for checking out the unboxing. See you guys next time.